Hello everyone, quick biochemistry basics here. Let's talk about SDS page. Polyacrylamide is formed by the polymerization reaction between acrylamide and bisacrylamide in presence of APS and timid. APS provides free radicals for the reaction, whereas catalysis of free radicals from APS is done by timid. It is to be noted that this reaction is inhibited by oxygen. As a result of this, we carry out this reaction in between two glass plates. Page can be of two types, STS page and the native page. In STS page, STS is used as a denaturant. It binds protein and provides a net negative charge. As a result, the separation of proteins occur based on the size. In native page, the proteins are not denatured and the separation of protein occurs based on the size as well as the net charge on the protein. The wells of the page gel are approximately 1 cm deep. So when proteins are loaded in the gel, not all proteins reach the bottom of the well at the same time. So when we switch on the electric field, as you can see, the proteins enter the gel at different time. And this problem can give bad resolution. One way to solve this problem is to sandwich all the proteins together such that they start migrating from the same line, which can finally give a good resolution. For this purpose, we have stacking gel and a resolving gel. Stacking gel has a pH of 6.8, whereas the resolving gel has pH of 8.8. .8. And the buffer that we use for the electrophoresis has tricyl glycine with pH of 8.3. So now let's see how glycine and chloride ions present in the buffer helps in the sandwiching of proteins. Here is our friend glycine. Glycine has both positive and negative charge at neutral pH. If the pH is acidic, it has a net positive charge. And if the pH is alkaline, it's going to have a net negative charge. Now, the tank buffer has a pH of 8.3. It means glycine in the tank buffer is going to have a net negative charge. Now when the electric field is switched on, the glycine from the tank buffer starts entering the stacking gel. The pH of stacking gel is 6.8 which is near neutral and so glycine is going to have a positive as well as negative charge. And because of this, the net electric force experienced by the glycine in stacking gel is zero. Now these glycine molecules that are stuck in the stacking gel act as a barrier for the protein molecules that are coming from the well. Besides this, chloride ions irrespective of the pH are gonna have a net negative charge. So the chloride ions pushes all the proteins forward whereas the glycine molecules resist the movement of proteins. As a result of this, the protein molecules are sandwiched between glycine and chloride ions. And the sandwiching of proteins continues till they reach the resolving gel. The resolving gel has a pH of 8.8, .8, so glycine is again going to have a net negative charge. So the sandwiching of proteins now stops as the glycine moves forward. So in the resolving gel, all the proteins start migrating from a same line, which can finally give a good resolution. Once the run completes, the gel can be fixed and stained.